All right, let's have a discussion about this situation. About the woman that got smashed in the face with a brick. Oh, well, let's see what this headline says. After a black woman is attacked with a brick, she's blamed. How did we allow this to happen? So they're basically saying the people that are coming out to criticize this woman or past transgressions, they're victim blaming. You know how the left like to use different terms to just make up. So this girl or this woman rather, Robache or whatever, posted a viral video on social media that, that documented her alleged her allegedly being hit by a brick after she refused to give a man her number. Total lies. That's not what happened. Nice for the liberal media to pick a very beautiful, innocent looking. Oh, there's a nice picture of her. She's so innocent, eating watermelon with nice teeth, big smile. Oh. This girl, or this woman rather, is probably the most vile human being you see on the internet. She's a liberal black woman. Me and my face went a break and all these black men just watched. And they don't give a yeah, this man, this man it hit me, it grabbed a rock, and it hit me in my face because I would have given him my number. And all y'all just watch. I hope every black. Oh my lord. That wasn't what happened. Someone hears this, they think, oh, the Western man is so evil. Like, you didn't give a girl, your girl didn't give you a number, and you just went and smashed her in the face with it. Does that make sense to you at all? Anybody listening to this, does that make sense to you? How many times have you refused to give a guy your number as a girl? As a female, how many times have you refused to give a guy your number? Especially if you're a good-looking female, an attractive-looking female. You refuse to give a guy your number countless times. So your face would have been smashed in countless times, if that's the case, going through her logic. But well, as watch this video through, you're going to see why. And no one is... Look, 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 look. We don't condone any act of violence on this channel. No. Smashing someone in any way is wrong. With a brick? Come on, bruh. You just went too far with that one. You smash one in the face with a brick. But then again, when you provoke people, no telling how they're going to react. All right? If you lack home training, the streets is going to train you. Because nowadays, they tell kids there's no difference between a male and a female. They've blurred the lines so much. Everyone is all the same. Men are not physically stronger than women. Biology goes out the window. So you've got guys growing up right now thinking, well, it's all 50-50. You smash me, I'm going to smash you too. You slap me, man, I'm going to slap the hell out of you. Don't do that. Keep your hands to yourself. That's the moral of the story. Right? So you can't complain about, oh, shiver is dead, shiver is dead. After y'all have killed it, you can't have it both ways. Yeah, this man, this man it hit me, it grabbed a rock, and it hit me in my face, and I would have given him my number. And all y'all just watch. And of course, they're trying to make it a gender war thing, a black man, black man versus black woman type of stuff. Come on, man. That's the, the liberal black woman's playbook, one-on-one. -on -one. It's like, it's, it's like the, the, the constant competition with the black man. This video is going to be directed to black men. Y'all better listen, because you never listen. So listen to this one. It's going to be a very important one for you. Black man in particular, listen to me. I, I hope every black woman is kissing another black woman because we are the innate protectors and the providers. We protect societies, we protect communities with our intellectual pro property, with our lived experiences, with our breast milk, with our bodies. We're the one. You see that? That's a liberal black woman one on one. That's a liberal black woman, typical liberal far left liberal black woman right there. That's their ideology. They're in their mother goddess energy. And the mother goddess energy comes in three forms. You have the nurturing mother, the destroyer goddess, the Kalima, and then you have the harlot archetype, the promiscuous archetype. The Western women, especially the Western black, they take mainly the last two, the destroyer goddess, and the promiscuous goddess. To see these women saying they're, they're gods, they're queens, they're this, they're that, and they're divine feminine energy. 
that's Ishta in Anya. That's the personality trait right there. That's the Kalima personality traits that these black women possess in the Western world. So when I keep telling black men that your main issue in the world right now, in the Western world right now, is not police brutality. It's not white supremacy or this or that or none of that nonsense. It's the liberal black woman. That's your enemy number one. The liberal black women see themselves as their own demographic. You have to listen. Every issue we have in the black community will be solved. Everyone will be solved with just one move. If y'all would stop inseminating the liberal black woman. If you would leave them alone, ignore them, pretend like they do not exist. Let them fade out. Do not procreate with them. Why would you plant seed in poisonous soil? What type of seed do you think, what type of fruit do you think is going to germinate from poisonous soil? Look around in Southside uh, Chicago. Look around in the black community right now. All these youngins going around causing havoc and killing each other are all offsprings, all seeds that were planted in poisonous soil. The liberal black woman is not your friend, black man. You have to listen. And the two, bitch, not even the three. Because <laughs> men are not providers and protectors, not innately, because they only protect what they possess. But we protect everybody. We a man who protect, will protect what's valuable to him. You're obviously not valuable to nobody because no one protected you. Getting your face mentioned in. Provide Look. She goes around slapping white people, talking about, oh, you've got white privilege. Push. Just slaps them and walks away. This is an elder right here. An older man, she walks right up to and just slap. This is for the fact that you're a white man and I'm a black woman and I have less privilege than you. Thank you. Oh, I feel better. <laughs> we're up, we're up. <laughs> when you see all these black women on the internet, online, twerking in public, doing all this degenerate stuff, they are in their mother goddess persona. They're not in their right mind. You stop dealing with them. Let them just die out. What are you doing, black men? You're causing your own problem. You have to have discernment. You have to have discipline. It's not every hole you see you have to go into. You have to control your Johnson. You just can't go around shooting the club up with these women. So let me get this straight. A black woman gets hit in the face with a brick for rejecting a man while a bunch of other men are standing around watching and y'all are trying to villainize her. Is it crack? All day yesterday, the men were on Twitter talking about some, what are we supposed to do, risk our life for a stranger? Here y'all go making it about all men. If one bad man enacts violence upon a woman and 49 other men stand around watching, then we now have 50 bad men in the room. So in that scenario, yes, it's all of you. What Carry on with, you, with your leftist logic. It's common sense. Keep your hands to yourself. Whether you're a woman or a man, you can't go around just smacking people. Men know that if you smack another man, that's war right there. We're going to square up. That's that straight up fight. You challenge me. Let's do it. But somehow, these women, conservative women, do understand this biological difference between men and women. They were very innately different. Liberal black women do not understand this. Thing. Liberal women in general, far left liberals, do not don't seem to grasp it in their head what men are capable of. You know what anger is? You know what a man's anger is? So you think you just go around slapping, just physically assaulting men? Do you think there's people in Saudi Arabia and these third world country women behave like this? You're hearing stories and stories and stories now where these Western women are going around to the third world misbehaving and they're getting locked up. Because like I said, if you don't, if you lack home training, the streets is going to teach you. I bet you she's not going around slapping people no more. What have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? 